Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today, ooh, it's a special day. We have tools. I thought I would compare the Martinez Premium Titanium Square with the new Squid Jig Limited Edition Dr. Dex Square. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the bell icon if you want to be notified when we're putting out new content, which is usually three days a week. Did I dent it? No, okay. All right, so I've had this square for over a year. I really like it, it's my go-to square. It's a speed square, it's packed a lot of features in it. Uh, Mark Martinez makes nothing but high quality, the best tools on the planet, known to mankind pretty much, and you're gonna pay for them. The one thing I like about this square the most is that it is titanium, which means it's really hard to mess up. Okay, you can drop it, you can ding it, you can drill against it. I've done that often and I only have a few nicks in this probably two years old square that I'm using. Also, one cool thing was Mark reached out to me. I'll do my best Mark Martinez impression, okay? It's like, hey man, uh, I've got a limited edition run of these squares and if you want one doctor, it's yours. And I told Mark, I said, I'll take two. And the reason I know he wasn't lying to me, he's all legit, is because there's a three missing on the 35. There was only 10 of these made, and he sold two of them to me. I still had to pay for them. And then I gave one of them away in a giveaway, man. What was I thinking? These would be so much more valuable. I paid $250 for this square. Yeah, it's a lot of money. This is a lifetime. If somebody doesn't steal this from you, this is a lifetime investment. You're gonna have this for the rest of your life. Love you, Mark. Just had to say that. Now, this is a new company called Squid Jig. They're newer to the industry. You might know Squid Jig from their stair jack jigs. They make a, a clamping jig. It's multiple uses. You can actually clamp it to this for repetitive angles, but what I use it for mainly is for staircase layout. And when I say stair jack, I mean stair stringer for all you East Coasters and everybody else in the world besides me that uses the term stringer. That's what it's for. Okay, but this is a new feature that they're just released. The one thing, as far as a comparison goes, they both have a bubble vial indicator in the square, which is really cool. I'm totally in with that, right? Trying to make them all level. This comes in really handy when you're doing stairs. Again, uh, you can also use it like a torpedo level. You can just, you know, do it like this. You can also use a level this way when you put it up against something. Both the squares have that. Probably the one big difference that you'll notice is the shoe size. The shoe size on the Martinez is about a half an inch thick. Sometimes that's not really conducive to what I'm doing. It also is made out of aluminum. So it's not a full titanium square. There's still an aluminum shoe on it. The squid jig shoe is much thinner. It's only 3 16ths of an inch thick. It also has markings on it like this. So the Martinez does not have any markings on it. The squid jig does. I don't know if that's gonna come in real handy. I just got this. I haven't even used it yet, but I couldn't wait to share this information with you guys, okay? So, and you can also have a, the bubble vial indicator on the top of the square. Both squares do that as well, okay? It looks to me like the Martina square does have quite a few more markings and identifiers on it than the squid jig square does. This one's kind of handy right here. This markings right here. The one I probably use the most and that I will use on both squares is this one right here. The price is gonna be a little bit less than the pricey Martinez, but it's still not cheap at 175 bucks. Now they will custom engrave your information on it. And I've been told by Spin at Squid Jig, if you want your own custom Dr. Dex Squid Jig square, give them a call or email them, go to their webpage, put in an inquiry, and he will let you know what that extra cost would be. Both squares do have a nut driver on them right here. I've actually used this quite often to change my skill saw or my circular saw blades, my rear handle circular saw blades, my high point saw, and my worm drive saw. Notice how I set them all because I get chastised for that sometimes. They both have rafter markings on them hip and valleys and things of that nature. This one has a built-in bottle opener. I don't know if this one does or not. I'd have to ask Finn. I'm sure that you could probably figure out how to open a bottle, like how many guys are really opening beer bottles or, or soda pop bottles with their square. I don't know, I've never done it, but I'm sure some of you out there have. So that's my initial rundown of these two squares. 
let's take a look at the height. On initial height, the Martinez is a little bit taller than the Squidjig. The Squidjig has a little bit more of a rounded edge to it. But when you put them together on a board of you're hanging it, then the Squidjig actually becomes a longer square than the Martinez. So for example, like, whoop. so for example, if we put these together like so, and you look at the bottom, you can see that the Squidjig square is a little bit longer, okay? Now, as far as markings go, this is probably one of the most common features, one of the best features, is being able to draw straight lines across any particular type of lumber or something like that. The Martinez, like I said, I'm personally gonna use this section more than any other section except for when I'm trying to find an angle. So let's just say I need to do an inch and a half line. When I'm using a Pika pencil, if I don't have the lead sharp, then it sometimes doesn't fit in these grooves. It'll still sit in the groove, so I can still mark an inch and a half. And then if I need to do an inch and three eighths, I can go right here. And then I can go to an inch and a quarter. So it marks those out really nice. On the Squidjig Square, I believe it's got quarter inch markings. So if I need to draw an inch and a half, and then I can go to inch and three quarters. But for an inch and five, even if I put it to the inside of the area, I'm not gonna be able to get that inch and five line that you can on this square. Maybe that's a deal breaker for you. Not for me because this is kind of a secondary thing that I do. If I'm marking something at two inches, let's say, and let's say I need to come up all the way into the end of this board, like so. I could do the same thing just by going like this and drawing a line. There's so many different ways to use these tools. It's crazy. As far as uh, accuracy, let's see. Let's just put this on 30 degrees. And I'll draw a 30 degree line and let's read it with this square. And it's 30 degrees. As far as the markings go, I'm gonna say they're both very accurate. I'm sure they are. I mean, you can't produce something like this and it not be accurate. That would be crazy. So one other thing I like to do, just for giggles, we'll do this with each square, is I draw a line like this. I'm gonna mark, make this really dark, and then I'll flip the square over just to double check the line. And that is really good. It's, it's basically showing the same line on both sides of the square. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna draw a line here flip it over, take a look, and it looks very accurate as well. So there you go. All right, guys, so I think what it's gonna boil down to on these two squares is how much money do you wanna spend? Do you want it all one material, or do you wanna go up and upgrade into that titanium line of tool? And are you still gonna spend that much money on an aluminum square when you can go to a home center and get one for $15? So I think that these are both a high-end square that little bubble, I know that seems like a lot just for a bubble, but I use them all the time, especially on staircases to figure out angles. You know, you have a staircase coming down, you figure it like this, you level it out. Oh, that's a 32 degree angle. I use that on every deck I build. So for me, that's a plus. I got one more thing for you as far as these two squares go. We're gonna go back to the shoe thickness. With this square, I could never get this square to work in between deck boards. It just doesn't work. It, unfortunately was not a something that I could use all the time. So at times I would have to carry two squares in my pocket if I'm trying to like, let's say I'm trying to lay out uh, posts for a rail set that the posts are gonna sit on top of the deck. This particular square will fit into the gaps in between my decking. So if I'm laying out a post and I have to put it in the gap, I can actually square something up to it which again, as a deck builder, is kind of an important feature. It's a bonus for me that you, a lot of framers could care less about that, that feature. And that's the thing about these squares is they're kind of universal for multiple uses, but you're gonna find specialty reasons to use a particular brand. I'd have to say they're both pretty sweet squares. I'm happy with both of them. I will continue to use both of them in my builds. I really can't pick a winner today, guys. They're both high-end, high-quality products. So you be your own judge. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Leave a comment below, like this video, share it with your friends. Thanks for coming to our channel. I really appreciate it, guys. Have a great day.